And the chaos in Afghanistan is bringing strong reaction from our elected officials. That includes local representatives in Washington. Political editor John Delano continues our coverage now. He's been talking to lawmakers in both parties. Senator Bob Casey called the attack that killed 12 Americans and dozens of Afghanis, quote, devastating. A frequent remark in the wake of the terrorist attack at the Kabul airport on Thursday. From the beginning, elected officials, starting with President Biden, warned that this mission of removing Americans and their allies from Afghanistan was fraught with danger. It became doubly so when the Afghan government collapsed so quickly, allowing the Taliban to take over Kabul. Casey emphasized the importance of completing the mission to bring Americans home safely, while Congressman Guy Reschenthaler urged punitive actions and more troops on the ground. Said Casey, quote, this is a devastating attack on Afghans and Americans. American troops are carrying out their mission despite numerous threats and challenges, and we owe it to them to do everything we can to bring them home safely. We cannot tolerate terrorist threats to the United States emanating from Afghanistan, unquote. There should be swift and retaliatory airstrikes immediately. We need boots on the ground, at least to a limited extent, retaking the Bagram Air Base. Every terrorist needs to know that if they spill the blood of Americans, their blood will be flowing next. It's time to reassert our military dominance in that area. That's the only way we're going to prevent future attacks. And it's certainly the only way we're going to save the 1,500 Americans that are still trapped behind enemy lines. We reached out to Senator Toomey and other local representatives, but no comment yet from any of them. John Delano, KDKA News. And Democratic Congressman, Senate candidate Connor Lamb tweeted this today, crushed by the loss of fellow Marines in Afghanistan. Marines are the first to fight, and they exemplify that commitment, staying in a war zone, determined to succeed in their mission. I offer my deepest condolences to their loved ones and family at home and in the Corps. Lamb went on to say that a lot of questions need to be answered about how the operation has unfolded and what lies ahead. But right now, Lamb says, all need to be laser-focused on doing whatever it takes to get all of our people to safety.